Google has renamed Bard with Gemini and it has also launched a Gemini application for Google Pixel devices. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download that Gemini AI app on your Google Pixel devices. What are the use cases wherein you can use Gemini AI on your Google Pixels? And in case you ever want to switch between Google Gemini and Google Assistant, I will also show you how to do that because the Gemini AI on your Google Pixel devices does replace Google Assistant. First thing we need to do is we are going to go to the Google Play Store and herein you need to search for Gemini. Once you search for Gemini, you will see something called Google Gemini. I have linked this Google Gemini app in the description of the video as well and we're going to select install. Now once you have successfully installed the Google Gemini app on your Google Pixel device, if you open your application drawer, you should see the Google Gemini. Here it is. This is Google Gemini. We are going to select this. And it is telling us, hey, I am Gemini, a new experimental AI assistant on your phone. I can help you write, plan, learn and more. We're going to say get started. And these are all the ways in which Google Gemini can help you. We're going to say I agree. And bam, here it is. This is Google Gemini. Now a pro tip over here is to make sure that your digital assistant app is set as Google. How do you do that? You go into settings, then you go into apps, then you go into default apps. Make sure that digital assistant app is set as Google and not as none. Next up, let us say you are not in the Google Gemini app. How do you invoke Google Gemini? Well, once you have agreed to the terms and conditions, your Google Assistant has now been replaced with Google Gemini. So however way you invoke Google Assistant, that is now going to invoke Google Gemini AI on your Pixel device. So in my case, I have set it for the power button. So if I press and hold the power button, bam, here it is. This is Google Gemini on my Google Pixel. Now in case you've mapped the power button to show you the power menu, then how do you invoke Google Gemini? Well, in that case, you can use your swipe from the bottom edge gesture. Just make sure that you have enabled that option. So you will go into settings, then you will go into system, then you will go into navigation mode. You're using gesture navigation, tap on the settings icon, swipe to invoke assistant should be enabled. And now if I swipe from either edge, bam, here it is. This again is Google Gemini in the building working like a boss on my Google Pixel. And before you tell me, hey Manchi, what if I'm using three button navigation, I do not see the option of swiping to invoke Google Assistant. And if I press and hold on the home button, this is where circle to search kicks in. Well, if you're using three button navigation, then my dear friend, you either have to use Hey Google to invoke your Google Gemini or you press and hold the power button and you have to change that setting. Where do you find that? Well, you will go into settings and once you're in settings, you will go into system. You will go into gestures, press and hold power button, change that to digital assistant and bam again, press and hold the power button to invoke Google Gemini. And of course, the third and the last way of invoking or opening Gemini AI on your Google Pixel device is by using the Hey Google keyword and bam, here it is, Google Gemini working like a boss on the Google Pixel. And in case you have not enabled your Hey Google voice search, then all you need to do is go into settings, tap on search settings. Here I'm going to search for Hey, you will get Hey Google and voice match. Go ahead and enable this toggle here. And then next time you say Hey Google, that should invoke the Google Assistant or the Google Gemini AI on your Google Pixel device. Next up, let us see how you can use Google Gemini AI. So first of all, let us invoke Google Gemini AI. Then we are going to select this option on the bottom right, which is for the camera, and that will open the camera app. We're going to take a picture of this object over here, add image to your prompt. We're going to select attach. Next up, we're going to ask it about the picture which we just took. Now it did take Google Gemini AI some time to figure out what that is, but it did give us the correct answer that this here is a Rubik's Cube. And then you can have more conversations about Rubik's Cube with Google Gemini AI in case you want to.
another use case for google gemini ai is you can use it to generate images as well so let us go ahead and ask google gemini ai to create a specific image for us and see what happens there it is the results are on your screen right now and the image quality here is pretty good you can of course tap on the down arrow to download this google gemini ai generated image or you can always tap on the share button to share it let us try tapping on generate more and see what happens and there it is peeps we did get two more pictures from the text prompt which we gave google gemini ai on our google pixel device another use case for google gemini ai could be let us say you are surfing the internet you're reading an article and then let us say we want a summary so here it is we invoked google gemini ai we're going to say add this screen and now we can go ahead and ask it to summarize this page for us so we type in summary, tap the enter key, wait for Google Gemini AI to work its magic in the background, and then pretty soon we should get a summary of this web page. There it is, it did give us a summary about Sir Lewis Hamilton moving to Ferrari for the year 2025 in Formula One. Another use case for Google Gemini AI would be to find calories for foods so here it is this is a picture of chana masala and let us invoke google gemini ai and then we're going to select add this screen once it has been added we're going to ask how many calories does this have so we can ask master yoda style calories how many and there it is you can see gemini ai is telling us that it could not get information from that specific website but from the internet it found out that one serving of chana masala is about 260 to 300 calories another pro tip about google gemini ai is that if you open the gemini app on your google pixel device and then you tap on your profile picture or the first character of your name on the top right and then you go into extensions and herein you can enable toggles for specific extensions let us say google flights google hotels google maps google workspace and youtube so do make sure that you explore the gemini application on your google pixel device Next up, let us say you want to disable Google Gemini AI on your Google Pixel and you want to go back to Google Assistant. How do you do that? Well, you open your application drawer, open the Gemini application. Then on the top right, you will see your profile picture or the first character of your name. We're going to tap on this. And here you need to go into settings once you are in settings you will see digital assistance from Google and right now Gemini is selected we can change it to Google assistant we're going to say switch and now if I press and hold the power button BAM here it is you can see that we have successfully replaced our digital assistant from Google Gemini to our old and faithful Google assistant and there it is peeps that is all we have to share about google gemini ai on your google pixel devices of course if you have something fun to share about the gemini ai on your google pixel devices make sure to leave a comment on this video